first, tell us about yourself. Give us your name and your coaching credentials. My name is Nick Samnani. I've been coaching for over a decade. I started coaching youth soccer in California, um, all different levels. And then I moved to Iowa where I was assistant men's soccer coach at Iowa Lakes Community College. We had a good run there, won a national championship. Um, now I'm here at WVU Tech. Um, I have my master's degree in sports psychology. I have several different coaches, coaching licenses and certificates. Uh, this is your first season at Tech. What are you most looking forward to? I'm looking forward to getting the, to know the boys really well and to just experience the, the Golden Bear way and become part of the family and to really bring the group together as much as I can. How would you describe your coaching style? Uh, my coaching style is open and collaborative. I want to have intelligent players, which I'm lucky enough to have here, but it's, you know, how much further can we take it? As we heard some of the previous players say, it, it's such a mental game and I want to prepare them to have solutions to any sort of situation that can occur in the game. I want them to be able to solve it and be equipped to have those answers. Um, so in training is to put them into as many different scenarios as I can um, to, to build that intelligence part of the game because they're the ones who are playing the match on game day. So they're the ones that have to be able to solve those problems. So my job is to put them into a framework, put them into a system, into a structure where they can be successful and where they can express themselves and play freely and openly. What are your goals for the team this season? My goals for this season, A, is to get the culture part right, is to make sure that we're all on the same page, that we're all in it together, that we're giving back to the community, that we're giving back to our school, that we are moral and virtuous individuals and as a collective, as a team and on the field, we will prepare for every match as it comes. Our goal is to win every single match that we face. So we'll take it one match at a time, do everything we can in our power to win that game and then go on to the next one. What will it take for your athletes to be successful this season? Yeah, so I'm blessed to have acquired some fantastic players who are already here at Tech when I arrived. So I'm very excited and happy to work with them. So as long as they keep putting in the way that they have so far, their effort and attitude and energy and their buy-in has been phenomenal. So as long as they continue doing that, I think we'll have a very successful season. Um, um, talk about your schedule and what's in store for this season. Yeah, so our schedule, we're playing a very aggressive schedule. I'm very excited about it. We're playing four teams who are ranked in the top 25 teams in the country, which is a fantastic opportunity for us. We wanna be challenged. We wanna be playing against the best teams in the country. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. Thank you. Um, introduce yourself, tell us your name, where you're from, what year you are, and what your major is. I'm John Hernandez. I am from Spain. I was actually born in Venezuela. Uh, I am a senior this year. This is my last year playing soccer here at Tech. And I'm 21 years old. And what is your major? I'm mechanical engineering. Uh, what are you focusing on as an individual and what is the team focusing on for this season? As an individual, I would say to improve my level from the last year, or at least keep, uh, keep it. And as a team, the support the new coach and create a family and build the culture that the coach wants us to have in the, in the team. What is the greatest piece of advice that you have received in soccer? I would say to never give up because in soccer, the, the game is, is too long, so you can never uh, give up on the, the circumstances that are happening in the field. You never know what can happen, so that's it. Do you have any pre-game rituals or superstitions? Yeah, so since I am a kid, I kissed my arm twice here and here. Uh, I don't know why I do it, but it gives me luck or confidence. So since I'm a kid, I do it and I keep doing it today. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome. Hi, uh, my name is Julian Diaz Vasquez. I'm actually from Brazil. My major is civil engineering. I'm currently a junior at Tech. What are you focusing on this year as an individual and what's the team focusing on? So as an individual, I was always want to um, improve myself in all areas. I'm a center back, so my main focus is to defend and protect the team. And as a group, uh, have a good culture and create a family here at Tech. What is the greatest piece of advice that you have received in soccer? So always uh, my father was my mentor. So my father always said to me to believe in myself and I trust myself to do good games and believe in the team. 
Is there a certain team that you are looking forward to playing this season? So there's not a specific team. I just want to achieve the final of the conference and whatever team is there, I want to beat them. Do you have any three game rituals or superstitions? Yeah, uh, I have two. Um, the first one is I always do like with the socks and my boots first in the right foot and then talk with God, pray to God, yeah. Uh, my name is Vasco Guerrero. I'm from Portugal. I'm currently a junior tech and I may, I'm double majoring in information systems and uh, business management. What are the areas that you as an individual and the team are focusing on this season? Um, I would say we are really focused on creating a good culture, con uh, keep going with this legacy, uh, keep building on such a great team. And I think the freshmen come this year to add a lot of quality, uh, uh, build, keep building on something that we've building for the past year. And I, th I think that's our main focus, focus on ourselves and then come together as a team and be good. What is the greatest piece of advice that you have received in soccer? Uh, I would say probably to use my head, think with my head and not with my feet. Uh, soccer is mostly about putting everything on the field that you have, but as well thinking about the game as not, not as much as reacts, but to think about the game and that way be a step a step ahead of our opponent. Uh, do you have any pre-game rituals or any superstitions? Uh, I would say I have one. No, I'll say I have two. I always like to see the people at the stands and in the crowds say hi to everyone that I know, and then just pray and help, pray for help. God is always with me, so that's what I expect help from Him too. Thank you. Thank you so much.